So our next presenter is Dr. Nelly Deutsch. Um, Dr. Deutsch is a Canadian education technology relationship-based mentor to educators worldwide. Nelly has been teaching English in middle school, high school, and at the level uh, college level for 40 years and integrating technology into face-to-face -face programs since 1992. She organizes free annual online events such as Moodle and Virtual World MOOCs, online conferences like Connecting Online and Moodle MOOCs on Moodle for Teachers site. She is an EVO coordinator and moderator. She practices team-based peer learning, supporting learner autonomy and integrating technologies such as Moodle, Jitsi, Congrea, Google Meet, Amos Teams, Zoom, Screencast-O-Matic, Kahoot, Padlet, Quizlet, and Google Drive to engage and empower learners. Thank you very much. And um, uh, Dr. Deutsch will present collaborative peer team learning. Dr. Deutsch, the floor is yours. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great to be here. And I think it's um, a great idea. That's why I jumped for it. Uh, when um, I found out that there was going to be something about open educational resources. Well, we've got some great guests here. We've got an expert, in fact, from uh, Sweden, Ebba, Dr. Ebba or Professor Ebba is here with us, who's an expert on open education resources. So it really gives me great pleasure that you're here. Uh, I started Wiki Educator in 2007. Wiki Educator is just as was mentioned, a wiki and it's a wiki that is the same or very similar to Wikipedia and it's based on Media Wiki. How many of you have heard of Media Wiki or have used it? You can say used, heard. It's completely free, it's open source. You can have it if you've got a domain, you can install it on your domain and you could actually have a wiki like wiki um, educator or um, wikipedia so from the icons that you see here these are all open education resources or at least they're platforms for uh, open education resources there's wordpress which is al also open source uh, involved in Wiki Educators were the Commonwealth of Learning. They're not involved in Wiki Educator anymore. And Otega Polytechnic University from New Zealand. Athabasca was one of the first to be interested in adding OER to the university and giving credit to students from around the world who um, actually took OERs for free and were able to get credits for that. I'll, if you can go on to the next slide. So today's a very, very um, happy day. Well, it's happy year actually, because I don't know if you guys know it, but uh, this year is 20 years of Wikipedia. And so far over 1 billion edits have been added to Wikipedia, which is an encyclopedia, an online encyclopedia. You can go on to the next slide. So um, it's uh, very rewarding that we're doing this for the, uh, oh, you clicked on it? <laughs> all right, that's, that's good. Okay, so all of these are clickable. I've okay. added the, um, yeah, you can just go on to the next one, thanks. They're all clickable with, uh, actually uh, the sources of the images and a little more about. So actually what you're getting from the slides, at least these slides uh, that I've provided are OERs. You can use them to further your education or at least to get information. So Wikimedia was developed by Jimmy Wales. I don't know if you've heard of Jimmy Wales. I had the pleasure of meeting the man who is an incredible speaker. He is the founder, the brain behind Wikipedia, but he also developed Wikimedia in 2003. Okay, two years later, you can go on to the next slide. So what do Wiki Educator, Wiki Educator and uh, Wikipedia or the media wikis that are public have in common? What they have in common is Media Wiki. 
as I said, it's open source. And that's how you can have your own wiki. And I've had mine, um, which is really exciting. And I'll tell you more about my adventures on Wiki Educator and my love for the wiki. So you can go on to the next one. Dr. Wayne McIntosh. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. I'm sure Ebba has and anyone who's involved in um, the wiki or OER movement from years back. Uh, we're going back to 2007, eight, nine, um, over 10 years ago when Wiki Educator and Dr. Wayne McIntosh originally, uh, he's a developer, computer science geek and much more. He's from South Africa, but he moved to New Zealand at some point. And he started, as I said, Wiki Educator, as well as the continuation of Wiki Educator, which was developed on Wiki Educator, called the OR Foundation and the OER University. Yes, there is a university where you can learn for free and get credit. So let's go on to the next slide. I really get excited when I think of how I started with Wiki Educated, because this is really history for me, so it's nostalgia. Um, I, I don't know how it happened. I joined in 2007 at some time when Wiki Educator was founded, and then I was made uh, the chief electoral officer. We had elections. Yeah, this was very, very formal, too formal for my taste, so I had to have help from uh, Wayne who helped me with this, but we had our first elections. And of course, Wayne was, uh, was elected to be the first, uh, I guess, uh, honorary member of um, Wiki Educator. All these are, links are clickable. So everything appears, and that's what's wonderful. You can go on to the next slide. Everything appears on Wiki Educator. Everything's been documented there. And uh, we'll talk about the differences in a minute between Wiki Educator and uh, Wikipedia. So uh, David Wally, who was also involved in the, uh, in the movement and Wiki Educator, he uh, came up with this image and um, the following that was mentioned, I believe by one of the presenters. And that is, if you go back, reuse, revise, remix, redistribute. And if you notice, without permission, and I think this is very, very important, the fact that you can share and use work uh, without permission. And this is great for our students who plagiarize and you know uh, don't know much about copyrights, that with OER, there's no reason to worry about uh, copyrights because everything is yours for the taking. So you can do whatever you want with whatever is there. And I love this freedom. You can go on to the next slide. The freedom of creating, the freedom of sharing, the freedom of collaborating. And that's what you can do. And that's what we've been doing on Wiki Educator. At least we did until Wiki Educator kind of slowed down, but it's still there. So the purpose of Wiki Educator, according to the first page, and if you click on this and you're not going to, okay? But later on, you'll be able to get all this information. So it was a community. It still is a community, but the community has kind of uh, spread its wings and we've all gone our separate ways, but we're, we always come back to Wiki Educator and continue adding content. So Wiki Educator, was and still is a place where you can plan and develop. And that's where Wayne McIntosh developed the OER movement. He actually developed it, and I'll show you the page, on Wiki Educator. Funding came from various places because everything, of course, is free. You devote your time and, um, and the space because um, hosting costs money. Uh, let's go on to the next. So what's the difference, you might ask, between Wikipedia and Wiki Educator? Why have both when one is enough? Well, the features that I've added here are contributions, content, user page, and talk. Wikipedia and Wiki Educator are different in that the contributions are different. I don't know if any of you, I know I have, have tried to get a user page on Wikipedia. I try to get one, 
but I was thrown out very, very quickly after a few edits. So with Wikipedia, you can't get an account or a user page or edit anything unless you follow through protocols. And it's really hard to get in there, but once you do, you're fine. They only work with experts. Now, experts doesn't mean that I'm not an expert. I might be an expert, but they don't call me an expert. So with Wiki Educator, anyone, that means that anyone can plan and work. And generally, all educators are welcome. They only, and I'm one of the uh, super uh, admins, as they call us. I'm not on Wikipedia. I'm nobody there. But on Wiki Educator, I can contribute and actually check for spam and other things. Content on Wikipedia, there's only resources. It's pretty dead. Okay, you have the content, you can use the content, that's fine. On Wiki Educator, there are activities, and I'll give you some examples, not just resources, but also activities. It's almost like an LMS, at least that's how you can use it. User page, no on Wikipedia, yes on Wiki Educator, and then talk, we can have conversations, ongoing conversations about the content on Wiki Educator. Wikipedia, you have to be someone or at least recognized by Wikipedia. I'm not saying these are bad things, I'm just saying they're different. Okay, you can go on to the next. So these are the things that you can do on Wiki Educator. You can, and I have done all of these. You can plan and work on your syllabus with your colleagues and even with your students. Let everybody add their input. You can plan various things. I have planned books. I have planned presentations, such as this one. I have uh, planned conferences, courses, lessons, everything, brainstorm. Uh, you can conduct elections. If you've got elections coming, you can use Wiki Educator for your elections. You can introduce yourself, have introductions, get acquainted, media sharing. As I said, you can not only plan books, you can actually write books because all the pages on Wiki Educator can be turned into books. You can add albums with photos, testimonials, workshops, conferences, and I've done all of these, online events, courses, MOOCs, blogs. You can have a blog. Your blog is your Wiki Educator. Lessons, reflections, writing practice for students, and my students have used Wiki Educator, and I'm talking about the K-12 grades 9 to 12, have used Wiki Educator to learn and practice. You can go on to the next one. So that's what you can do on Wiki Educator. This is an example of learning how to Wiki. Now you might think, well, you know, Wiki, so what's the big deal? Well, the original wiki is a lot of fun. You know, it's almost like today learning how to use uh, coding. Well, it's kind of a code that you practice and you learn. You can learn to create these pages with table of contents and links and so on. And you can have um, an LMS, a 10 day LMS on Wiki Educator. And this is an example. You can go into it and see what's available, including participants, and discussions and meetings and, and so on. So let's go on to the next one. Online workshops, okay? This is something that I created called Blended Online Learning, which is BOL, Workshops for Active Lifelong Learning. And notice again, there is the menu with the different parts that take you to different pages. So you, you have a section and sections, and you can do all of this very easily on Wiki Educator. So you can go on to the next one. So how do you get started? Well, you click on this, don't do it now, you can do it later. You click on this slide, it'll take you to Wiki Educator Help. And there's the list of all the things that you can do, including how to create an account, how to create your own page. So you can use it with your students, with your classes. You can have a page, which is a few pages, doesn't have to be one page, but you can start a page for your students, work with your colleagues, develop lessons and courses on Wiki Educator. So if you can go on to the next slide. All right, so I started a page for us. So we can start talking about OER in the classroom. 
And again, this is clickable. All you need to do is create an account, join the team. You can see that where it says join the team and start adding your input. So I believe this has to be probably, this is the last uh, slide if I'm not mistaken. Nope, there's one more. All right, so later on you can click on that and start so we can start communicating. In fact, you can even add questions and that's what's great about the pages. So um, Wiki Educator, you can plan a project and I invite you to plan projects, okay? You can get in touch with me so I can provide you with help perhaps, maybe a workshop on Zoom so we can work together and learn how to use Wiki Educator to create and share and plan. This is an example of a MOOC. This is how uh, Wayne McIntosh started his OER university on Wiki Educator. He started a group, a planning group, and you can see what's there, the title, and then there's the home page, members, there's a list of members, and anybody can join and contribute. Go to the next one. So this is what he developed. Right now, it's very, very active with lots of universities, but they're looking for partners. So if your university is interested in joining OER University, you're welcome to join. Again, this is clickable. Uh, these are the menus, home, how it works, courses. You can take a course right now. So it's kind of like a MOOCs, a platform for MOOCs, but they use WordPress. They use everything that's open source nothing that gets paid for. Everything is free and the sources, platform and so on are free. So if you didn't know, WordPress is also open source and you can do anything you want with it. And the next one, this is a link to a course that I think uh, you would probably find interesting. It's called Learning in a Digital Age. And you can develop and learn how to help your learners become competent and autonomous. Who wouldn't want to take such a course? So this course is an example of what you can take at OER University. And that's it. Thank you for watching and looking forward to seeing you on Wiki Educator. Thank you very much.